Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merritt. Today we're going to do module 3, lesson 30. Our objective is I will use balls of clay of equal weights and observe if the scale becomes unbalanced. Okay, so we're going to do a lot of looking at the screen and seeing if two equal weights unbalances the scale or not. Okay. So to warm up today, we are going to count with our wreck and wreck the say 10 way so just like we do our say 10 push-ups what we're going to do is we are going to move beads on the wreck and wreck and see what um team number we make so who can remember how many are right here there are 10 if i move one over that's 10 one right so what am I showing here? 10, 1. 10, 1. 10, 2. This number. 10, 3. 10, 4. Good job. 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 10, 10. Very good. So we've been talking a lot about the balance scale. And remember, we think of it like a seesaw. If something's heavier, the heavier object goes down and the lighter object stays up. If it's balanced, it's straight across. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine that I took one big ball of clay and put it on one side. What would happen to my scale when I did that? Right. It would go down because the ball of clay would be heavier than having nothing on the other side. But then I decided to take another big ball and I broke that big ball into four smaller balls of clay. The big ball is as heavy as the four small balls all put together. What do you think the scale would look like then? Right. It would be balanced. So can you show me with your arm what a balanced scale looks like? Does it look like this or like this? Right, just like this. Very good. It's balanced because the four small balls, if you were to put them all together, they would equal or have the same weight as the one big ball. So we're going to look at a few more pictures of scales. And I want you to be able to describe the weights of the objects, okay? So, I have a blue piece of clay in a ball on this side. And then I have, on my other side, I have a red piece of clay. What can I know about the weights just by looking at the scale? Is one piece heavier than the other? No. The scale's what? The scale is balanced. Very good. So what does that mean about our two pieces of clay? That means they're equal weights. Great job. Now, I rolled up that blue clay and I made it into a snake. Can you roll it for me? Help me as long as my pinky finger. Can you roll it for me? Perfect. And then I took the red clay and I rolled it into a snake as long as my thumb. So look at my pinky finger and my thumb. Which is longer? My pinky finger? Well, I'm trying to get it so you can see my thumb. My pinky finger or my thumb? Which is longer? My pinky finger! 
So the blue one was as long as my pinky finger, and the red one is as long as my thumb. So that must mean, since the blue one was as long as my pinky finger, and my pinky finger is longer, that must mean that the blue one's going to weigh more, right? Yes or no? No. Look at my scale. What do you notice about our scale? Our scale is still is it heavier and lighter or balanced? Balanced. Our scale is still balanced. So, does the snake that's the length of my pinky finger and the snake that's the length of my thumb, do they weigh the same? Yes, they do. Because if they didn't, our scale would look slanted. Our scale is still balanced. Okay, I've got another one here. Okay, so I'm going to do one more thing with our clay. I think this will make our scale unbalanced. With my blue clay, I'm going to make a cup and with, or a bowl, and with the red clay, I'm going to make a cup. Which holds more, a cup or a bowl? Hmm. Which would hold more? If I wanted to go grab some something to eat, and I were to put it in a cup, would my cup hold more or would my bowl hold more? My bowl would hold more. My bowl is much bigger than a cup. Okay? So I made my cup and I made my bowl and now they're on the balance scale. What can you tell me about them? So I think since my bowl can hold more, then it must weigh more. Why not? How do you know? I see all these no symbols. How do you know? Oh my goodness. I, I looked at the scale too. Our scale is what? Our scale is still balanced. So you mean to tell me that even if something is bigger or longer, it doesn't necessarily weigh more? Oh, thank you so much for telling me that. Our scale is still balanced, so I can know that our bowl weighs as much as our cup. Wow, you guys did such an awesome job today. I wish we were in the classroom so we could do this with our own hands, because normally we would make the things and then weigh them, and it's fun. But... I still had so much fun, and you guys helped me so much. I appreciate it. So let's think about what we learned today. We learned that sometimes, even though things are longer or bigger, it does not mean that they are heavier. This is because, though, if we were to put a real bowl and a real cup on a scale, we would probably see a difference. But since we took the same two balls of clay that we started with and they were the same weight and then we made those balls of clay into something else, that's how we know that our scale is going to stay balanced. We could have made anything we wanted with the two different balls of clay and the scale still would have stayed balanced every time because we were working with two balls of clay that we knew were the same weight. So, I want you to remember, just because something is taller or longer, or bigger or wider, as long as the two things start at the same weight, you can make those things into anything you want. You could make the clay into literally anything, and it would still keep the scale balanced. Because when our scale is balanced, it means our two objects are the same weight. I hope you have a wonderful day today, and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.